Hey guys, another NRD log number, what is this, either three or four, I'm not really sure, I think it's number three, or is it four, I, I'm not sure, but this this NRD log is mainly just about three things, two things are the big parts, and the last part is pretty much just scans, so you just can look at that if you want to, so first I'm going to talk about some new topics on Storm 2, some new updates, uh, and some things I actually kind of missed. I kind of forgot to tell you guys about this stuff. I totally just skipped past it. I never uploaded any videos on it. I just said, you know, just screw it. I, I wasn't going to upload it uh, at, at first. But now I guess I should release the, that info to you guys. So check it out. It seems impossible. Gosh, I mean, this go. Feel like you let him go. Okay, now first I'm gonna get into the old info since I forgot to tell you guys all about that. Alright, so in the game Storm 2, I guess you guys already know this by now, but uh, it's been confirmed that when, when Naruto goes into his awakening mode, he goes straight into a you know little cutscene and it's just him going into four teams. There's nothing really big, but I just thought you guys might want to know that. Next, there is a picture about Mars. Yeah, pretty much that's it. Next, you have a scan showing Team Heavy, pretty much Sasuke doing his Monkey Kill showering gun. Uh, that leads people to think that the story mode is going to go farther. I don't think so, though, because, you know, Monkey Kill showering gun, he got it before, you know, the whole battle between Naruto and Pain, so it's, it can fit in there. Next is a big part. I have some very good comparisons for the PS3 and 360 versions of the uh, Storm 2 demo. So what it pretty much shows is that there's a couple of images and um, pretty much it's just I don't know it, it, it the games don't look that very different to me. The only difference is is just a slight difference, a very small difference. It's it, it's actually a good thing for like people that are saying okay the 360 version is going to have worse graphics than the PS3 version. That's not true because the, the the pictures look exactly alike almost, like the comparison, they look exactly alike, but if you pay close attention, the PS3 versions are a little bit more shaded in, shaded in, like it's a little bit darker. Uh, that's, a, that's pretty much it, I can say. Like the graphics look amazing on both, they look pretty much identical, the same, it's just one is shaded in a little bit more than the other one. That, that, that's pretty much it. It's not that much different in both of them. Next, I'm trying to settle a dispute between people who are thinking that Killer B in his 8 Tails form is not playable. If you look closely at the scan, I have to say this, he is playable. So for you guys who don't believe me, um, just know this. Why the hell would the 8 Tails be the first person? I mean, the only person that should be first person in either the story mode or in any type of battle should be the person who is battling with a controller. The person who is able to control the first player. So I'm pretty much sure that you can play as the eight tails so you can just rejoice on that. Next is some really interesting news. The Collector's Edition has been announced and a screenshot has been shown of what you get in the Collector's Edition bundle. It shows a fantastic box art for the for the collector's edition i really love it it shows naruto sasuke itachi and pain on the uh, cover also you get your little card like you did in storm one you know like with the uh first okage or second okage like a little card that you get so you get that from minato you can download them off of psn or xbox live also it comes with a soundtrack uh pretty much like that's nothing too different and plus a laser cell little art piece it's not that big of a deal but it's uh, if you want to collect this edition it'll cost you about I heard something about eighty dollars but um, I'm pretty much thinking it's somewhere around seventy don't worry about that you guys but it, it, if you get the collector's edition just remember this you get Mieto as soon as you get the game if you uh,
get the uh, little card, you can just download it off of PSN, Xbox Live. But if you do not wish to do that or pay extra money for it, you can just get the regular edition and beat the game 100% and then you'll unlock Minato. It's not that big of a deal, but if you want to spend extra money and get something extra with it, then you'll be my guest. Next, the demo for Europe has been announced for August the 25th. What does that mean for us? I have no fucking idea because the demo for us... I don't know. I don't understand when that's coming out. They said soon. It's been a while, months, and I've heard nothing. No, no, nothing thus far. So I guess it's gonna come soon, possibly around the same time as Europe. But if not, I don't know what to say because there's, no, there's nothing been announced. So hopefully they announce something later on or whatever. Maybe the 24th because that's the day before Europe gets it, and it's a Tuesday, which is usually when uh, Xbox Live and PSN they update their stock so yeah next part is mostly about raging blast 2 so for raging blast 2 what they have announced is that you get to play as dr raichi which is a character that was in a movie i forgot the name of it though and he was never been he's never been in any other dragon ball z game so that's something exclusive i really don't know who he is i never saw that movie that he was in uh, quite frankly I don't think that that little part is going to make like people just say, Oh my god, I'm getting this game. Like, Dr. Raichi's in it. Um, that He's just a side character. He's only shown up in, like, what, one movie? I don't think he's that big of a deal, quite frankly. Uh, but it, it is good that, you know, they're adding characters that haven't been in any, in any other Dragon Ball Z game before because they have announced that they're going to add more characters that have never been in any other Dragon Ball Z game. That sounds very good. They're also going to include a 30 minute episode in there, never before seen, it's going to include, you know, just a uh, battle, it's going to be the eradication of the Saiyans, Super Saiyans, I think that's what it's called, and it's pretty much like, if you watch the entire thing, the entire 30 minute episode, which is pretty much a good deal, I mean, you just sit there and watch an episode of Dragon Ball Z, and it's remastered, I think, uh, totally new, uh, remastered, uh, graphics and all that bullshit. But it's just going to unlock you a new character. But you have to watch it from beginning to end for the entire episode. And yeah, you, you get a free... You get uh, you get to unlock a character with it. I don't know if that's only for the special edition or if it's in every game. I think it might only be for the limited edition version. I'm going to get back to you guys on that part. But, you know, just for that little part, I like the fact that they're putting an episode in there. It makes me want to buy the game a lot more. I don't know why, but... I never before ever seen an episode of now. I mean, Dragon Ball Z. Sorry, it, it makes me want to buy up the uh, game a lot more. What about you guys? Next is the box art for Dragon Ball Z: Raging Blast 2. So the box art looks very good. I would say it's um, it's 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 showing you know the Super Saiyans and you know the bad guys and I don't understand who that person is like right in the middle, but. You know, if you guys know who he is, just like, just tell me, because uh, he might be a, another character that was never in any other Dragon Ball Z game. But, um, yeah, for the most part, the box art looks pretty, pretty damn awesome. It hasn't, there hasn't been an, an official release date for America yet, but for Europe, there is a release date um, for, like, November or something like that, I forgot. Uh, and Japan, of course, they have their release date already. So, um... I will tell you guys that there's a release date coming up for Raging Blast 2 and if there's a demo release coming up soon. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I had to talk about for Storm 2 and Raging Blast 2. Now I have a couple of scans to show for just Pokemon Black and White. It's pretty much like an elongated version of what I've already uploaded like a couple of days ago. You know, just showing new Pokemon, new characters, and even something about a new show. You know, um... A new show, I already said that before, that they're going to make a new show. Ash is no more. Thank God. Come on, man. He's 10 years old still. What the fuck? But um, seriously, yeah, they, they're going to make a new show. That's really good. Uh, I think it's called Best Wishes, Pokemon Best Wishes. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't think I'm going to watch that at all. Um, and quite frankly, I'm not really that hyped up for watching, what, uh, any more Pokemon in general. I'm... I'm actually just kind of free because I'm I don't think I can memorize a hundred new Pokemon's names can you guys do that a hundred new Pokemon it's gonna be a little bit overwhelming especially with the whole thing they said they're gonna make Pokemon games and more Pokemon for the next 
who knows how many years. It's just going to go on and on and on. Yeah, we're going to stop at some point and just say this is some bullshit. So that's about it for my NRD vlog number three or four. i sorry if I don't remember. But, yeah, just watch the rest of the video. It's just some scans. And I guess we'll see you guys later, so stay gold.